Robinson Crusoe's Story by Charles E. Carroll Read for LibriVox.org by J. C. Guan Robinson Crusoe's Story The night was thick and hazy When the Piccadilly Daisy Carried down the crew and captain in the sea And I think the water drowned them For they never, never found them And I know they didn't come ashore with me. Oh, it was very sad and lonely when I found myself the only population on this cultivated shore. But I've made a little tavern in a rocky little cavern, and I sit and watch for people at the door. I spent no time in looking for a girl to do my cooking, as I'm quite a clever hand at making stews. But I had that fellow Friday just to keep the tavern tidy, and to put a Sunday polish on my shoes. I have a little garden, that I'm cultivating larden, as the things I eat are rather tough and dry, for I live on toasted lizards, prickly pears, and parrot gizzards, and I'm really very fond of beetle pie. The clothes I had were furry, and it made me fret and worry, when I found the months were eating off the hair. And I had to scrape and sand them, and I boiled them and tanned them, till I got the fine Morocco suit I wear. I sometimes seek diversion in a family excursion with the few domestic animals you see, and we take along a carrot as refreshment for the parrot and a little can of jungle berry tea. Then we gather as we travel bits of moss and dirty gravel, and we chip off little specimens of stone, and we carry home as prizes funny bugs of handy sizes, just to give the day a scientific tone. If the roads are wet and muddy, we remain at home and study, for the goat is very clever at a sum, and the dog, instead of fighting, studies ornamental writing, while the cat is taking lessons on the drum. We retire at eleven, and we rise again at seven, and I wish to call attention as I close to the fact that all the scholars are correct about their collars, and particular in turning out their toes. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.